Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Powers. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am an architecture and real estate photographer based in Southern Minnesota. I have been using Aereo for, uh, since the beginning of the year. And today I just wanna to talk a little bit about Aereo 2.0. If you aren't familiar with Aereo, what it is, it's a content delivery system for real estate. It does more than just content delivery. Um, and we'll go over some of those things today, but one of the things it does, you can create property websites. Um, you can just deliver uh, content if you want. You can invoice, you can do order forms. There's, there's a lot of other things you can do within Aereo. And we're gonna get into that. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Aereo, um, Aereo 2.0 is very similar to the version one, except it's just better <laughs> in many ways. They completely redesigned everything from the ground up uh, very, it's, but it's still a very familiar layout, so there isn't too much of a learning curve into getting started. In fact, there isn't really a learning curve if you're new to Aereo in the first place. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and dive in right now, and I'll try to answer any potential questions you might have along the way. Now, when you first go to and log into the website, it's going to look like any other dashboard on any other website you go to. Now, the first thing you're going to see here is listings. You're going to see storefront, and we'll get, we'll get into all these things in detail. But you can kind of look over to the left column here and just see all the different sections that are available to you. Um, now, it's pretty self-explanatory, but this listing section here is where all of the listings you, that you're going to make are going to be hosted. Um, as of right now, I only have two in this demo version, um, but I have been using this for a few months. I just added these two in the last few days just to test out some of the new features that the guys implemented. And so far, so good. I'm really enjoying this. So let's just start from the beginning here. Now, when you first log in, like I said, you're gonna be at this dashboard and you're gonna be on this listings page. In here, you can view any current listings you have. You can create new listings. If you see this little add listing button up in the top left, if you wanna view the property websites of any of the, uh, the listings you've created, you just click on this little arrow here. It's gonna pop them up on a separate page, obviously. And my internet speed's a little slow right now. It's not the website. Um, but as you can see, it just creates a very general property website that you can customize and we'll get into that a little bit uh, later on. Now uh, you can go to images, map, contact, again, you can customize this stuff, but for the most part, it, it's, it's all done for you. You don't have to do anything extra. This is what it looks like by default. Um, also, property websites with Aereo are free, so that's kind of a big deal. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with the other property website uh, services, uh, you're going to be paying a fee for those things. And in fact, with the older version of Aereo, there was a fee for the property websites, but now it's included. Okay, so the next section is the storefront feature. Now, if you go into storefront, just click on storefront here. Um, you're going to basically, this is where you're, you're going to be able to create orders. Uh, eventually, you're going to be able to schedule within Aereo. But if some of you are watching this video in the future, you may already have that functionality. So just double check. Um, but you can create order forms. Um, and basically the idea is to have one service for your customers to visit, to take care of all their fulfillment needs. Okay. Below storefront we have, or within storefront rather, we have orders. Um, this is if customers placed any orders with your order form and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, scheduling feature. Again, this will be coming soon. Um, you can put any scheduled shoots in here and products. Now I added just a general, uh, just a few of the products that I offer and I offered some of them based on square footage based and I did photography based on the number of images because that's how I charge. Um, but this, this is just the section where you can add all your products which will be incorporated into your order form. Within the section they can also do add-ons. So if you go into here, look under add-ons, I have a couple in here already. And what an add-on is, it's essentially an upsell uh, feature. So um, here's a good example. I, I sell th uh, Zillow 3D home tours, okay? And if a uh, client orders a Zillow 360 home tour uh, and they select yes, they want one of those, an option will pop up to offer them a standalone uh, tour for just $75 more, which is basically me using Cloud Pano. The nice thing is this will only populate if they order the Zillow 3D home tour, so it's not gonna add a bunch of other clutter. Uh, another option I offer is mobile videos, which, I, which are basically 60 second videos that I'll just do with my iPhone. This option will pop up if they want to change that to a full length video. So 75 more dollars, they can get a one and a half to three minute video. So that's essentially how add-ons work, okay? Um, the next section will be your customer section and this is where you can add any customers that you have as well as their information. 
Then there's the App Store. This is a brand new feature to Aereo, and I'm really excited about this. But as you can see, this is basically where all the different integrations are coming. So as you can see, there's a partnership with Kubikasa, which I love. If you haven't seen my pretty previous videos on that, you should go check them out. There'll be a new one soon. Um, Express Docs, Stripe, Google Calendar. As you can see, there's gonna be some other ones coming soon. So as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of things coming down the pipeline and it, they're just trying to make it as easy as, as possible to integrate with your current workflow. Next section is settings, obviously, and we're not gonna go through every single one of these. It's pretty self-explanatory, personal details, notifications, property websites. You can adjust your, your um, default settings in here. If you have any team members, if you wanna purchase any credits to buy any add-ons like custom domains. Um, company details, if you wanna manage your credit cards and payment processors. Download settings, if you wanna add some customized legal terms. It's all right here. So as you can see, it's very easy to use, very intuitive. You probably don't even need to watch a tutorial on how to use this. Um, but it's, it's very straightforward. They made it very easy for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through how I use Aereo and how you can probably use it for your business as well. So the first thing I do is I come to the dashboard here. I click on list, uh, add listing. You can type in the address. I'm just going to do 123 Main Street because I don't remember the street address. And we're going to go to Lonsdale, Minnesota because that's the first one that popped up. And here you can add images, add video, add floor plans, 3D. And you can add all these things later, but what'll happen is if you select all of these or, or just a couple of these, it will populate those fields for you to add to. So for now, we're just gonna do photos, or images rather. We're gonna hit create. From here, it brings you to, this is the, basically the back end of the client page, what it's going to look like. So you can see the agent is up here. Um, the property is right here, property details, image, property website. Again, property websites are included, which is a huge deal. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so as far as images, we're just gonna go ahead and hit add and we're gonna select the images that we wanna add. I have a bunch saved on my desktop, but we're not gonna upload all of them just for the sake of time. And again, my internet connection is really slow right now. So we're just gonna upload three and pretend that it's a full listing. All right, so once we have our images uploaded, um, you can make some changes. now. So there's one thing I noticed first, and that is that one of the images doesn't belong here. So you can go ahead and delete that from right here. You can uncheck as whether or not you want that to display in the, in the client's gallery on their website. You can also add captions here if you want to. I should also add that the clients have access to all these things as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just delete this image because it doesn't belong in here. And I want this image to be first. So if you hit rearrange, it brings you to this nice page. You can scale the sizes so you can see them a little better if you need to. And you simply just hit drag, save changes, and they are rearranged for you. Uh, now property details, if you click on property details here, you can do auto complete details. Um, obviously this home is not on the market, but if it was on the market, it would populate everything that is currently published uh, for public information. So to show the home price, bedrooms, and all that stuff. It's actually really convenient. Um, Again, the agent can add these details if they, if they need to. So if it's not yet published to the MLS, this information might not be there, but the agent can go in and add it later. We're gonna go ahead and hit save. Actually, we'll just click this back up because we're not gonna save it just yet. Um, if you wanna add more images, you just hit add. You can choose again and it'll just add those on top of the images you already added. Property websites, you can go into the editor here. And again, this is just what the default websites look like and they're really nice. They're nice and modern, very simple. Um, but the clients can come in here and customize these websites any way they want, which is really nice. They can change the different themes. And I do believe they're gonna have some more themes coming soon, but as of right now, there's three themes to start with. And we're just gonna go ahead and save and exit and just get out of here for the time being so we can keep moving. Now, let's say uh, they, add, they wanted to add a video or maybe you forgot to add the video during your upload. So you just go add new section and select what you wanna add. So in this case, we wanna add a video. And you just hit add. And we'll call the video 123 Main Street. And you can select whether or not you want this video to display on both the branded and the unbranded site, just the branded site or the unbranded site only. Now I'm just gonna go right to upload file. And you choose a file. And I have this test video right here. All right, so the video is uploaded. As you can see, we've got a URL right here for the video. And again, if you want to add a new section, you can add a new section here. You can do floor plans or 3D content. This will be like your virtual tours. 
I'm gonna go ahead and click this. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to a cloud panel really quick and grab a URL. Let's do this one here. And I'm just gonna copy my cloud panel URL. You just have to click it once to copy it, which is really convenient. Hit add, paste your link below. And we'll just display this on both for now. We'll add content. All right, so you get the gist and you can just kind of continue. You can add floor plans. I'm not gonna do this right now. And again, there is Kubikasa integration. Don't forget that, that's coming very soon here. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this section. So for the most part, we're done. We have everything we need to deliver this to the client. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hit share. It's gonna show them their download link. Again, you, don't, you can customize this if you want to, but for the most part, it's all ready for you to go. So you don't need to do anything else. So you can go ahead and just hit uh, deliver. It says listing has been delivered. And that's pretty much it, that's all you have to do. Now, if you wanna go ahead and go to this download section. Actually. Now, if you copy this URL, this is what they are going to see when they go there. We'll just exit out of the cloud panel here. And this is what they're going to get when they click on that URL. It's gonna have the links to their property websites, uh, the videos, they can download it. They can also use this for the MLS, which is nice because it is an unbranded version. So if we go to view here, as you can see, it's unbranded, uh, it just goes to Aereo, so it's not pointing anywhere. Um, well, I mean, obviously their video is unbranded, but there's no branding in the URL. If they want to view their 360 tour or download it, they can just click on it. It'll bring them right to the URL. Again, I use Cloud Panel for these. So yeah, all of their content is right here. They can download images. They can download print quality or web quality, which is really convenient. They can download individual images or just download all of them. You can check out their property website. This is what they can send to clients or post on you know, social media. One more thing that I quickly wanted to show you, and that's again how I use these, uh, how I specifically use. Now video is a huge part of my business. If you're not familiar with the art of real estate cinematography, it's a course that my friend Nick Sorsenduber uh, and I uh, made last October. Um, video is a huge part of my business, especially this year. So video for me is very important. I'm not gonna do it right now because my upload speed is so slow right now, but you can, I just wanted to show you that you can, you can actually add multiple videos uh, to this if you'd like. You can do branded versions, unbranded versions, and you can choose whether or not to display uh, which video in those branded or unbranded versions of the client websites that you create. So it's really convenient. But more or less, you guys, that is my area workflow. I hope you guys consider checking it out. Thanks so much for watching.